Did you like your boss back then? He was just cool as hell. Like he would throw like a nug of weed in there for like holidays and stuff. And I thought that was so sweet. <laughs> What was your very first job? My very first job was working at this place called Magic Fit Sneakers. I guess it's kind of where I learned how to talk to people. It was like my first job with commission ever, but that was also my first job, so I always have the highest sales at any commission job. What were your favorite shoes at the time? I love Harachis. At the time, I loved those. And no disrespect if you still wear Harachis. Of course, all the Jordans. I never cared about forces as much as everybody else cared about forces. I respect a like, good pair of crisp whites, but it's not like, I need this. Like, yeah. How would your coworkers describe you? Um, annoying, probably. Like, really talkative. But like, I could sell anything. So what was your secret to being a top seller? The first time that I was able to sell something that was expensive, like a steep tech and a pair of Tims, and I upselled like on a pair of sneakers, I had to like just approach it in a different way. And the other guys were so like good at fast talking and like, I could just like be myself and be like, well, I think it's supposed to be nice or be really corny or I don't know, just shy that people were fine with that. What did your parents think about your first job? They were like, you're only like 14. <laughs> Why don't you just focus on school? And they didn't want me to work, but I really like being independent and I'm still like that. Like, I'll work three jobs to not have to ask anybody else for something. I know you also worked at Sephora for a little bit. Yeah, I loved working at Sephora. I did so well at that job. Like knowing the difference between like dimethicone and it's a derivative of silicone and it's using a lot of primers. And that was interesting when I started really learning the difference between things that are expensive and things that are quality. They like offered me advancement and that's when I was like, I'm gonna quit because I wanna go make music. What made you say, okay, it's time to quit? Well, if they're gonna give me advancement, then it's like, that's you're upping me to like 40 hours. But I need more money and I need flexible hours. Because I can't afford my studio time on 23 hours. I can't afford my studio time on 30 hours. So I have to go. So then I just went to the strip club and bartended and I made just like a lot more money a lot faster and could pay for virtually anything that I needed. Was that decision hard for you? Mm. I was like kind of embarrassed just because my mom was like starting to be really proud of me because it was like after my failing out of college stint and I had like a job that I was consistent about and like I was doing well and it just like made a very steep turn for I think I have a new hobby. So what advice would you give to your younger self? I would say just like don't let anybody psych you out. Everybody's making it up. I cared more about people at work being mad at me or not liking me. I would like tone it down when like other people would be like annoyed with me and I only now realize like that was crazy. They were trying to psych you out and you let them. That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm.